Okay, Year 11, I'm going to have a look at a couple more of these questions from today's lesson. Um, and we're doing exercise 615. And I want to have a look at question 21 again. I did this in class today, but I think I better do it again as I might have lost a few people. So let's have a look at this. Uh, question 21 requires us to find the exact value of tan 22 and a half. And we can't find the value of 22 and a half, but we're lucky because we know that tan 2 theta equals tan or 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. So we know that situation and we know that we want to find 22 and a half. So let's let theta equal 22 and a half and see if we can use this identity to help us find it. Now I do know that Margaret has given us a way to do this by doing this method in question 20 and using that answer. But what we want to be able to do is, were we given this in an exam and we didn't have this information here about what sign, uh, that sine 2x plus over 1 plus cos 2x, that that actually equals tan theta. We, we didn't have that. You've got to prove that. So if you had that in an exam, you'd have to prove that. So we're going to go straight from this situation here. So let's go back to it. So if theta equals 22 and a half, well then 2 theta will equal 45 degrees. So now I can put those that information into my identity. So I'll get tan 45 equals 2 tan 22 and a half over 1 minus tan squared 22 and a half. Now tan 45 is 1. That makes that really easy. And then I've got 2 tan 22 and a half over 1 minus tan squared 22 and a half. Well, I'm just going to multiply that 1 minus tan 20 tan squared 22 and a half over here so on the left hand side i get 1 minus tan squared 22 and a half equals 2 tan 22 and a half okay well now let's subtract the tan 22 and a half and subtract oh sorry add add the tan 22 and a half, tan squared 22 and a half over, and we'll subtract the 1. So here we'll get 0, and we'll get tan squared 22 and a half. I've added that, plus 2 tan 22 and a half, and minus 1. Right. Now this looks like something you should know. This looks like a quadratic equation. We've got something squared plus two times something and a constant. So I should be able to solve this like any other quadratic equation. But let's make it a bit simpler by substituting or changing um, what that thing is that's squared and that two times. So we'll let, just to help us solve it, u equal 10, 22 and a half. Okay. So now, and this is a, what we call an equation, because that's what it is, reducible to a quadratic. An equation reducible to a quadratic. So now I've got 0 equals, okay, u squared plus 2u 
minus 1. Now I can't factorise that. There's nothing that I know that will multiply out to negative 1 and adds up to 2. So I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula. And luckily that's on your formula sheet. So u will equal negative b, oh, negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, hmm, 2 squared, minus 4 times a, or a is 1, times c, well, that's negative 1, all over 2 times a, 2 times 1. So that's pretty cool. I get negative 2 plus or minus the square root. That's going to be 4 minus minus 4 over 2. Okay, so that's negative 2 plus or minus root 8 over 2. Okay, so that's... Mm, let's see if we can do some cancelling here now. Now you've got to be very careful with this because some people uh, cancel out and only cancel with one part in the top and we've got to cancel in all parts. But first I'm just going to simplify that root 8 and I know that's the same as 2 root 2 from there. So now I can cancel this 2 goes into there but we've also got to cancel it from there. And when I say cancel, we get a 1. So we get negative 1 plus or minus 1 root 2. Well, that's just root 2. So I've got two answers here. I've got negative 1 minus root 2. And I've got negative 1 plus root 2. And that's what u equals. But what were we finding when we found u? Let's have a look back. Well, there it is. u equals tan 22 and a half, which is what we were originally meant to find. Okay. So tan 22 and a half equals, well, that's going to be a negative number. Negative 1 minus root 2 is a negative number, and I know that tan 22 and a half is going to be a positive. So this is not a solution. Does tan 22 and a half equal minus 1 plus root 2? Well, that is a solution because that is a positive number. And then I can check that on my calculator to make sure I'm right. But I've got the exact value. So tan 22 and a half is negative 1 plus root 2, or swap them around, root 2 minus 1. And that's what Margaret's got. Now, I want to move on and talk about, and I'll stop there so that I can do another one on T formula.